Six months ago, scientists managed to revive an animal that had spent 24,000 years in the permafrost. Does this mean that other animals can be brought back to life after thousands of years of freezing or even extinction? It seems so, because scientists are about to be able to resurrect creatures that have long been absent from Earth. From saber-toothed tigers and mammoths to the most famous extinct birds, in this episode, I show you these and other animals that scientists are ready to revive. Let's go! Saber-toothed tiger Which one of you here likes the Ice Age animated film? Which of you likes Diego the most? If it's this charismatic cat that you like, then I can make you happy. The real Diego may be about to reappear on our planet. Saber-toothed tigers, by the way, should be more correctly called saber-toothed cats. But for convenience, I'll continue to call them tigers. Scientists believe that saber-toothed tigers became the first animals on the planet that were completely exterminated by humans. It happened about 10 to 11,000 years ago. It's time to correct the mistakes of our ancestors and try to bring these toothy creatures back from the dead. Some remains of saber-toothed tigers are still preserved in permafrost. Scientists believe they are the best sources of DNA. That's not enough. It's possible to take remains from ancient resin deposits. However, they're not yet fully confirmed and there are fewer of them. After that, scientists will need to isolate the genome of the saber-toothed tiger and impregnate a surrogate mother. It will be an African lioness. Everything's already clear on paper. The only thing left to do is bring Diego back from the dead in practice. But it would certainly be bored on its own. How Diego can do without Manny? Yes, scientists can resurrect woolly mammoths too and are already on the verge of great discoveries. The resurrection of the woolly mammoth in general seems to be one of the most obvious and even the easiest. First, there are plenty of mammoth remains, like the remains of saber-toothed tigers, they're preserved in the permafrost. Second, mammoths became extinct later than saber-toothed tigers. For example, recently a mammoth was found on Wrangell Island, which lived only 4,300 years ago. Plus, scientists often find the well-preserved remains of these woolly giants. This opens up great prospects. Russian scientists believe that it's easier to resurrect mammoths than other extinct animals since the permafrost does not allow them to fully decompose and preserves important genetic material. American scientists agree with them. About six months ago, they announced plans to bring woolly mammoths back to life. To do this, they want to apply genetic engineering techniques and use the DNA of woolly mammoths and elephants. Geneticists and biologists intend to breed the first cub within six years and then create an entire population. After that, scientists plan to repopulate the Siberian tundra with woolly mammoths to slow the rate of global warming. There's one more Ice Age character missing. And I'm talking about Sid, of course. In the animated film, Sid is a ground sloth of the Megalonyx genus. The ground sloths themselves as a group became extinct about 4,000 years ago. It turns out that they disappeared at about the same time as the last woolly mammoths. This opens good prospects for the revival of the entire group. Scientists already have DNA samples from the intact remains of the hair of ground sloths this is great news because it means that the genetic material now needs to be injected into a suitable surrogate mother, and the ground sloth will be born. But there's a problem. Ground sloths were very big. They weighed several tons and reached six meters in height. Although scientists know how to resurrect these giants, they do not yet have suitable surrogate mothers at their disposal. The females of modern sloths simply wouldn't be able to carry such giants. But geneticists aren't giving up. They're confident that in the near future it'll be possible to raise an embryo in an artificial womb. Okay, we're done with the trio from Ice Age. Perhaps they can all be found in reality in the near future. But what about other extinct animals? They too may soon be able to return from the dead. Stay tuned to find out how scientists are going to resurrect the cave lion, see the feathered creatures from the past that are about to be among us, and learn about other animals scientists are ready to revive. Did you know that unicorns exist? Or rather, existed? But I have to disappoint you a little. I'm not talking about those fantastic creatures from myths and legends. I'm talking about the Siberian unicorn, the name of Elasmotherium, 
the extinct rhino. The main feature of these creatures was a very long and curved horn. It's believed that Elasmotherium became the prototypes of unicorns. These creatures became extinct about 30,000 years ago due to drastic climate changes and hunting by primitive humans. Modern humans can return the favor and resurrect Siberian unicorns. Biologically speaking, Elasmotherium became extinct relatively recently, so they can be revived. The permafrost has well preserved the remains of this real unicorn, which gives a good chance of reviving Elasmotherium today. But it's much more likely that the European cave lion, one of the largest felines of all time, will be resurrected. There are many reasons for this. First, the European cave lion is genetically very close to the modern African lion. These two animals are closer genetically than even mammoths and modern elephants, which means that the chance of successful surrogacy is very high. Secondly, European cave lions became extinct not so long ago, about 10,000 years ago. Thirdly, the biological material for the reconstruction of the prehistoric big cat DNA is more than enough. For example, three European cave lions were found in Yakutia, Russia in 2015 and 2017. Two bodies were preserved completely, and one was missing hind paws. A European cave lion was also found in 2018 in the north of the West Siberian plain. The news is good. If scientists reconstruct the European cave lion's nuclear DNA, it could be attempted to be inserted into the genome of the modern African lion. So far, the efforts of scientists have not been successful. The preservation of remains was not enough, so the researchers were able to isolate only some fragments of DNA. But success is not far off. A few more years of research and attempts, and the European cave lion may well revive. Dodo Sadly, this bird is long gone. It's become a symbol of the destruction of species through careless and barbaric invasion of established ecosystems. When people settled the island of Mauritius, it instantly exterminated all the dodos that were defenseless and unafraid of strangers because they could do no harm. Throughout the 17th century, humans ruthlessly destroyed the natural habitat of the dodos, while the animals they brought in ravaged dodo nests and competed for limited food resources. Eventually, the last dodo died in 1662. But not all is lost. Several biological samples of these birds have already been collected. DNA can be isolated from them. In fact, this has been done for a long time. Back in the early 2000s, work began at the University of Oxford to decipher the genome of an extinct species. Dried heads from the collection of the local museum are used as biomaterial. Resurrection of the dodo is quite possible. But so far, scientists have only partially restored the DNA of the dodo and compare its genes with the genes of modern birds, potential relatives of the dodo. Biologists call the Nicobar pigeon a probable closest species. Imagine how cool it'll be when the dodo is reborn. Passenger pigeon And here's another extinct bird. Unlike all the previous animals in this episode, the passenger pigeon became extinct quite recently. The last wild individual was killed in 1901, and the last passenger pigeon in captivity died in 1914. It's only been a little over a century. By the way, it's surprising that just a couple of centuries before extinction, the passenger pigeon was the most numerous bird in the world. There were five billion of these birds flying around the planet. I don't know if scientists will be able to reconstruct the same gigantic population, probably not, but at least a few passenger pigeons may well be brought back from the dead. American geneticist George Church proposes to recreate the genome of the passenger pigeon by combining DNA fragments from various samples. The DNA can then be injected into the nuclei of the stem cells of the common pigeon or the band-tailed pigeon and make them turn into embryo cells, which will later form the bird's sex organs. The next step is to introduce the cells into the eggs, which will produce chicks that look like a common pigeon or a band-tailed pigeon but contain the DNA of an extinct bird in their cells. It will remain to cross the hatched birds. Their offsprings will have signs of the passenger pigeon. And lastly, there's another animal that became extinct not so long ago. The aurochs became extinct in the first half of the 17th century. It was, as usual, due to human activity. Our distant ancestors were very fond of hunting aurochs in the forest steppes and steppes of the Eastern Hemisphere and this led to sad results for the whole species. 
but we can apologize to these animals by trying to resurrect them. In fact, scientists of the Third Reich tried to do so back in the days. However, as a result, they did not resurrect the aurochs but bred a new breed, heck cattle. In general, that's a good result, but modern scientists still intend to resurrect aurochs, but not to create a new species. For example, researchers from the Netherlands hope to breed an animal that will match the extinct bull in appearance, size, and behavior. And Polish scientists want to clone it. The country has an association for the reproduction of the aurochs. Scientists want to remove DNA from the preserved bones of the animal, restore a molecule with genetic information, and introduce it into the embryo of a common cow. If everything works out, we'll be able to see the once extinct bulls very soon. That's all, guys. Which extinct animals are you wanting to be revived the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.